What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. Today's video is going to be my actual makeup routine. So this is the makeup that I'll do if I'm going out to dinner, have a special event, or just want to run errands with makeup on. It's very simple, it's very minimal, and it's very easy to do. So if you're interested to see what products I love and just how I apply them, then let's get right into this. I look so white on camera. I don't know what it is. I think it's because my hair is so dark. I mean, I am pale, let's be real here, but I'm not that pale. It's still summer. Like, I have a little bit of a tan, but I don't know. My camera just, like, washes me out. I either look orange, I look yellow, or I look white. There's, like, no in-between. On my face right now, I already have the Drunk Elephant Be Hydra Moisturizer. I actually have been loving this. For a prep, I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Primer Water. This is what I always use. I use this multiple times in my makeup routine now, and it makes the biggest difference. So I spray this, and then for my primer, I've been loving the Soap & Glory One Heck of a Blot. I just feel like this really sticks my makeup to my face. It doesn't rub off easily. And it lasts pretty long, and it's drugstore. Awesome, right? I focus this right in my T-zone and right where my larger pores are first, and then I'll just spread it throughout my whole face. So for foundations, I've been loving the Maybelline 24 Hour. I know there's so many foundations that have been coming out on the market and I just really can't keep up. It controls my oils, it makes my makeup stay on all day long, it looks flawless, it looks great in pictures, like the list goes on. And the best part is it's like $12. So this is like my holy grail. I have two shades right now, but this is the shade 112 Natural Ivory. This is for when I'm getting a little bit more pale. And then I actually just tried this out the other day again. I kind of put it on the back burner just for a little bit because I was just going crazy with foundations and I just couldn't control myself. But this is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. I didn't really like this right when I purchased it, but now if you mix it in with another foundation that looks a little bit more natural, a little bit more lightweight, then this will look stunning on you. So that's what I'm actually going to do today. I'm going to mix both of these together because I just think they're a great combination. my concealer I still love the Tarte Shape Tape. This is in the shade Light. I like my under eyes really brightened up and just like the center of my face so that's why I'm going in with such a light shade but I mean once it's blended out it looks really good. I really just can't step away from this powder. It's so good. It's one of the best that I've ever used. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. It's just so good. It doesn't give you flashback. It makes your makeup look flawless. Like, literally, like you have a whole filter on your face. Now that I look like a ghost, we're going to move on to eyebrows. So I'm going in with the Anastasia Brow Wiz in, I think this one's dark brown, yeah. I go between soft brown and dark brown depending on like if my hair is lighter or darker. Or... Both shades really work for me. I think they look exactly the same. So this is just the shade that I have right now. <laughs> Now that I have my brows on, I'm going to move on to contour, bronzer, blush. I always contour first. I'm not sure if that's what you're supposed to do, but that's what I do. <laughs> I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in the shade Light to Medium. I always use this middle shade, and then I'll literally just dip into the shade, like little, and that's it, and then just contour my face. I think my nose looks weird if it's harshly contoured, so I just go in with a little bit like this. And this just makes it look a little bit more natural. And for my bronzer, I love this bronzer. It's so affordable, but it's so good. I think it's better than some high-end bronzers, to be honest. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, and this is just in the shade Bronzer. It blends so nicely, and I, I really love the smell, to be honest. I really do.
Now for my blush, I actually have been using this one a lot. This is by the brand Note, and it's their Luminous Silk Compact Blusher in the shade Desert Rose. It's a really pretty peachy pink. That is gorgeous. It looks so good on the skin as well. But I use the tiniest amount because this does have a lot of pigment in it, so I just be warned. So once I apply all these powders on top of my face, I do go in with the Smashbox Primer Water one more time, spray my entire face, and then I'll go in with a highlighter and do my eyes. By doing this step, this will get rid of a lot of the powderiness on your face. So whatever extra powder you're seeing or you just feel like you look a little extra cakey, you can actually like see the powder just sitting on top of your pores. By drenching your face in this, it will literally get rid of all of that. Don't skip this step. For my eyelashes, sometimes I do just mascara, especially when I'm being lazy, so that's like most of the time, but sometimes I do apply falsies if I'm feeling a little bit extra or it's like an event that's a little bit more special to me, so just depends on my day. These are the lashes that I normally will use. These are Baddington lashes. Um, I don't have them in the case because I think they're upstairs or they're like thrown in my purse somewhere, or they're at mats, or just something like that. These are the Monroe 3D Silk Lashes. Now that my face is all dried and set, I'm going to go in with my highlighter. This is my favorite highlighter out of all of the highlighters that I have. And boy, do I have a lot of highlighters. From high-end to drugstore. This is my favorite one. You guys need to pick this up if you do not have it. It's so affordable. It's by Milani. I think it's like $12. This is in the shade Day Glow. It's my favorite one. It's stunning. I love the packaging and just the formula is so gorgeous. This is the only highlighter that I will wear. I can't say highlighter today. I always tap off the excess because I don't like a lot of highlight anymore. I know. Who am I? I don't know. I don't know. Something just came about me one day and I was like, okay, girl, you need to chill on the highlighter. You look like a disco ball. I go in like circular motions. I think that's what makes it look very um, just subtle and, I don't know, just really pretty. See how stunning that is? This is the best mascara I've ever tried. I got it in a boxy charm. It's by the brand Wander Beauty. It's the Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. I don't know if they have waterproof or not, but this is black. It looks like this. It's very travel friendly. I honestly keep this in my car for when I actually like wear mascara on a daily basis. This is what I will use. I will use no other mascara. Look at the difference. I've never tried Ofra Lippies before, but I'm very thankful that I have because they are great. I love them. This is the Over Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Verona. It's a gorgeous fall color. One last time, I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Primer Water and spray this all over my face. And then to set my face, I'm going to use this Urban Decay All Nighter. I love this setting spray. Alright guys, and this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Super simple, super easy, really nothing difficult. I'm too lazy to do difficult anymore. <laughs> Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye loves.